Are you struggling to come up with good LinkedIn posts? Maybe you've tried ChatGPT and you were unhappy with the results? Believe me, I can empathize. LinkedIn is a grind and the initial things that ChatGPT creates are basically garbage. Today I want to show you how to use ChatGPT to create great thought leadership posts that you're actually going to be proud to put out there in the world. This is going to be especially useful for social media managers, digital marketing specialists, content creators. But it's also going to be helpful for public relations folks, recruiters, and sales reps. This process can also really help introverted executives. Maybe you're a non-marketing C-suite person. Maybe you are a doctor or a lawyer and your head is just not in this LinkedIn game day to day. I want to help you to increase your brand visibility, enhance your professional networking, generate leads, become a thought leader, and improve the content quality and consistency that you're putting into LinkedIn. This can also save time and really help strengthen customer relationships. Look, we all know that ChatGPT's initial responses for this kind of thing just really aren't any good. But with the framework I'm about to show you, you'll be able to quickly generate something great. These are going to be custom fit to your area of expertise, to the folks that you serve, and to ideas that resonate with you. So let's get your LinkedIn game unstuck and turn LinkedIn from a source of stress to something that you actually enjoy. If you're new to the Blazing Zebra channel, I want to welcome you and thank you for joining me on my mission of helping marketers and entrepreneurs around the world. My goal is to provide practical and actionable AI skills that increase your profitability and the enjoyment of your day-to-day -day work. If you're enjoying these videos, consider supporting me on Patreon where I've got tons of cheat sheets, custom GPTs, coaching options, and a lot more. Here's the process we're going to be going through today. We start with the concept. If you have your own concept, that can be a great place to start. Oftentimes, if I'm doing a quick journaling session in the morning, I might come across a sentence or two and think, wow, that might be a good LinkedIn post. And AI can be great if you just have that germ of an idea. It can really help flesh it out. But this video is going to cover coming up with the concept, as I think that's probably one of the hardest parts. From there, we're going to tweak the concept. We're going to finalize the draft. We're going to come up with hashtags and then look at some links we can put in there. So here's the prompt sequence for coming up with a concept. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video. I'm going to show you how to automate all this so you don't have to copy and paste all these prompts in all the time. Prompt number one, what are 30 buzzwords in your area of expertise? Prompt number two, what are 30 trending buzzwords in whatever industry you serve or customers you serve? And make sure that that is completely unrelated to your area of expertise. We want very different lists here. Uh, create 30 novel connections between these two lists. The more unique the ideas, the better. And then create a blog post based on whatever idea is the best from that list. So uh, I like to phrase it as a blog post rather than asking it to write a LinkedIn update. When I've asked it to write a LinkedIn update, it comes up with a bunch of emojis and a bunch of extra stuff that just doesn't feel very professional for me and for what I do. Um, I think telling it to create a blog post and then shorten that up a little bit makes for a much better LinkedIn post, much more professional, which is what you typically want to get out there. If you want emojis and all that stuff, you can always put that in later, but it's kind of hard to start with that type of a draft. So here I am in ChatGPT4. This is the paid version. I'm going to drop that first prompt in. My area of expertise is generative AI. As this list is being generated, you can also start to get some ideas for some interesting concepts. Now I'm dropping in that second prompt. What are 30 trending buzzwords in digital marketing, which is the audience that I serve completely unrelated to generative AI. Putting that in there because we don't want it to be mimicking this list. We want some totally different ideas here, different buzzwords. Cool. It's got some interesting ideas, things were, that were definitely not top of mind. Let's drop in the next prompt. This prompt is create 30 novel connections between these two lists. The more unique the ideas, the better. These are pretty solid. You can have it keep generating if you want, but number 15 really jumped out at me. Style transfer for brand consistency. Really cool. So I'm going to say create a blog post based on number 15. And as it's generating this, you might want to just think about your particular opinion, your particular thoughts on on this. I think just coming up with one sentence to lead the post off with uh, in your own voice can really start to set it apart. And you can see this is pretty long, but it should give you a lot to start to edit down to being a LinkedIn post, or I should say as the AI will start to edit it down. Here's the next prompt that we want to use to tweak this initial draft. I'm envisioning a shorter piece. Also, can you include something like this in the intro and continue the rest in first person like this? So like I said, coming up with one or two sentences, this is one sentence that I can 
came up with for a piece um, that I recently published that I felt really good about. And just thinking about what's your opinion on this draft? What unique angle can you bring to this being that it should be your area of expertise? You should have some thoughts on it. Okay, so here is the prompt that I just mentioned. The part that I'm adding is as I get deeper down the rabbit hole of style transfer with tools like Mid Journey, I'm beginning to realize the incredible impact this might have on brand consistency. So just kicking it off with my own thoughts on this piece. Let's see what it comes up with. Really cool. This is definitely something I'm excited to put online. But there were still a few words in there that I was not so excited about. They were a little bit, I don't know, uh, <laughs> wordy, I guess. So that's where this tweak two comes in. Saying something like, this is very good, very close, but can we make some small edits to make this slightly more conversational? And I think that's key in this prompt, saying small edits or slight revisions any other words can cause it to do a full rewrite and start to take out some of the things that I liked about it the most. So that's something I've learned. There's a big difference between asking it to rewrite and just asking it to make a couple small revisions. So I'm going to drop this in here and I noticed a few words in here that I would never use. So I'm going to look for those, see what it comes up with, if it can simplify the language a little bit. Yeah, this is feeling great. Along those lines, you wanna make sure that new versions are as good as the previous versions. Sometimes I'll copy every version into a Google Doc for reference, just to make sure that it's not overwriting some of the best parts, because that will happen fairly consistently. Sometimes in that first draft, there'll be some amazing ideas that get overwritten. You wanna keep a record of that. Yes, it's in the chat stream, but sometimes it's helpful to just have it in a Google Doc and just say, hey, can you please replace uh, this or make sure you add this thought from the first draft back in. And oftentimes I definitely need to tweak a word or two as I'm publishing it. It's never 100%, but I can get it pretty close, like uh, 95%. And then I might want to just tweak a couple little things. Sometimes I'll remove a whole paragraph if it's just not feeling right. Oftentimes I'll give myself a night so I won't publish it right away, but I'll come back the next morning, look at the draft, see if there's anything that doesn't feel right, and then I'll publish it. But before I do, you want to make sure that there are some good hashtags in there. And all you got to do is say, can you please generate a few good hashtags for this piece? And it generates a few different things. If you're a hashtag master, you're going to probably be able to do a better job, but I am not, so this is very helpful. I always edit this down, grabbing maybe five, six, seven at the most uh, that seem the most appropriate. So you can see I've just copied and pasted this into LinkedIn and I edited a little bit out. There was a paragraph that just didn't seem quite right. I copied and pasted in all of these hashtags. They all seem pretty relevant here. I'm just going to now add a link to my YouTube channel, which is where I'm driving traffic. And I would encourage you to put the links in the comments. I've heard that that can really help increase the organic reach of your posts. If you put the link actually in the post itself, LinkedIn doesn't like you pulling people off of its platform. So a sneaky hack. I'm not 100% sure that this works, but it seems to make sense to me to put the links in the comments. So there you have it. Let's post that. And then here's my YouTube channel right there in the comments. But if that wasn't easy enough for you, I want to introduce you to my LinkedIn thought leadership bot. This is a custom GPT available to my Patreon support orders that walks you through that entire process so you don't have to copy and paste those prompts in. Let me just show you how quick and easy this is. It asks you what is your area of expertise and what customers or industry do you serve? So I'm going to mix this up a little bit and just say my area of expertise is digital marketing and I serve health tech companies. It's generating some buzzwords in marketing. Please proceed. Omnichannel marketing and telemedicine. Interesting. Social media and digital mental health solutions. Really cool stuff. You got a lot of ideas here. Sometimes you can just make it stop if you need to. Okay, so which of these looked good? I think number five was pretty cool. All you gotta say is please generate a draft for number five. Really cool draft. And now I'm um, thinking about how to come up with that insight to add just your own personal touch to it before it creates the next version. So to add my 10 cents to this, I'm just saying, I would like to lead with this sentence and continue this sentiment throughout the piece. And in quotes, I 
put. Digital mental health is becoming an epidemic. It's a topic that really hits home for me. I'm curious how we as marketers can be mindful of this in our campaigns. What can we do to help? So that's the angle that I'd like it to rewrite this piece with. Very cool. Oftentimes it'll generate the hashtags for you, but sometimes you need to nudge it. Really happy with that draft. That's something I'd be very happy putting out in the world. Much better than if you just asked ChatGPT, hey, create a LinkedIn post for me. So that was a test drive of the LinkedIn thought leadership bot that's available to my Patreons. That is all of the prompts that we went through really just formatted into a custom GPT that you can use day in and day out to create awesome LinkedIn posts that you are excited to put out into the world. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for joining me on my mission of helping marketers and entrepreneurs around the world gain practical and actionable AI skills. If you got something out of this, again, check out the Patreon where you can not only get access to that bot, but a bunch of others, tons of cheat sheets. There's some coaching options in there if you wanna learn how I'm making these bots or if you wanna learn how to tweak these to your specific team, I'd be happy to jump on some calls and do that. Otherwise, thanks a ton for watching. Please feel free to give me a like, subscribe, hit me up in the comments. What kind of video would you like to see? What are you struggling with? What can I help with? Let me know and I'll see you on the next video. Make your dreams come true, true.